started uh, a fair few years ago now. It started back in 2007. Um, Austin basically looked out there in the market and said, I can do something better. You know, I don't think you should be a Fortune 500 spending billions of dollars for millions of dollars. For da -da 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 -da. We want to look at the smaller end of the scale. We want to offer the smaller businesses that would they have downtime, um, potentially get a, a, a loss of revenue that would be unrecoverable from. Um, and that's, what, that's where we came from, that's what we do. So we offer a full hybrid level solution, business continuity uh, solution there, um, that basically protects not only uh, with a localized bit of kit, a lo localized bit of hardware, or not only the cloud, but what we're looking at is protecting those servers on site, both locally and in the cloud. We're protecting SaaS data, uh, the likes of Office 365, uh, Google, and, and Salesforce. We're looking at basically protecting your data wherever it lives. Now, what I'm going to do here is uh, I'm going to go ahead and create a nice uh, text file. Uh, we'll call it TSG. And we'll go in and we'll stick in some this is important. It's topical, EU ref, I can't spell referendum. Uh, weather, tubes are rubbish, etc., etc., so on and so forth. I could keep going for ages. Um, so we've got some topical information in there. Pointless, but topical. And if I just save this onto the desktop there. Um, We've now got that data. We've now got something. Shouldn't save it on the desktop, but you know, by the by. Now, what we'll do is we'll go straight into uh, my browser here. And what we have access to here is one of the data appliances. This is the web UI that you would see uh, of the data appliance that would be on your network, protecting your servers. So to give you kind of a, a quick view around this, we can see first page we land on, it's a nice overview, gives me information around servers I'm backing up, data I'm storing, when the last backup happened, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, when we go into protect, um, this is where we're going to start configuring it. And this is something that TSG will do for you. Don't worry about having to go through every bit of configuration and read a manual this big and things like that. It's all going to be pre-configured for you. Now, one of the big things um, that I want is knowledge that should the worst happen, should I have a failure of a server, I want to know it will come back online. I don't want to just sit there and hope for the best and hope that the tape or the hard drive or the cloud or whatever I'm storing my data on is going to give me that data back. Um, and the way that we do that is via a little bit, uh, little bit of technology called screenshot verification. What this does is it basically boots your server in a totally disconnected mode on the data appliance, totally automated, um, screenshots a login screen and turns it all off again. So at that point, it's proof of bootability. So I can see here, it's uh, three minutes past four today, my server booted, I know it worked. So at that point, should the worst happen, like I said, we have that ultimate verification that my server will come back online again. It's the big thing. What's the biggest risk to data in a company? Who, who what, where is the biggest risk to data in a company, anyone? There we go. See, there's always one guy that gets it straight away. Users, you guys. Not I'm blaming you. I, I'm blaming you a little bit. There is someone in every company that will click something. Um, within our organization, it's Chris. Uh, <laughs> he loves free holidays, what can you say? Um, <laughs> there is someone in every organization that they will see an email come in or they'll see something and they'll say, oh, look, look at this. Picture of cats. Okay. And then all of a sudden, bang, the server's gone. Um, we had it recently at Datto. We had an email come in saying, your friend has shared something with you on Dropbox. And it rang alarm bell straight away. First off, it wouldn't say your friend, it would say who it's coming from. It wouldn't come from some weird email address. There's a load of little things there. And you're sat there going, mm, yeah, no, no, thank you. So we were, lucky. Uh, we were lucky, we caught that before it got there. But let's say, for example, that I'm Chris. Sorry, buddy. Um, and someone said to me, oh, watch this video, it's hilarious, you'll love it. Now you can all see it's click to runmp 4 Ignore the fact it says click to run, cleverly named. We're just gonna focus on the fact it's an MP4 file. So when we double click this, we're all gonna expect Windows to open up the uh, media player or 
some sort of media system to open or something like that. Where's my video? What's going on? And if you're uh, impatient like Chris, you'll have flicked it eight times by now, uh, hoping for the best. And you've tried and tried and tried and tried and nothing. And then you got bored and you went off and you know you start playing with your phone or something. So we can see what's just happened here. And you may have noticed that uh, TSG text file on the desktop there has actually changed. Let me move it up a little bit. Um, so that's now txt.ecc. And if we try and open that, it's going to come back saying, what's ECC? <coughs> Basically, what's happened is, is CryptoLocker is currently infecting this system. It's taking it over, it's encrypting all the data on it, and it's basically rendering everything unreadable. Um, the encryption key it's going to use is an RSA 4096, I think, 4096 key, which, if you, start, if you basically took a pretty powerful computer from nowadays, dropped it back to the start of time in your DeLorean uh, with this infected server, started trying to decrypt it, you'd still be going after the known universe has been extinguished. So you're kind of stuck here. Um, you've got a couple of options. Uh, and there we go. Option one is you click to copy bit drawing address or you know, basically you pay someone money to give you an, a decryption key. And like I said earlier, I'm skeptical on that. I, you know, sending someone money via Bitcoin, it's untraceable apparently. I don't want to do that. Um, you can see in the background here, it's basically changed everything saying, ha ha, I've got your data. I'm holding it ransom. Uh, if you want it back, pay me. So Chris is currently sat there at his desk, terrified about telling anyone. Um, he's basically, you know, he's thinking he's going to get fired. Um, luckily, Chris, don't worry, we've got you. Um, now, as we did, we took a, a backup of this server earlier. So let me just get out of this. We can leave that being infected in the back end. So what we do in this scenario is, um, First off, Chris would ring up the phone, very, uh, ring up IT very sheepishly and say, sorry, I said free holiday. Um, but then we would jump into the data web UI. Now, part and parcel of what we can do is instant virtualization. Um, what we would do is we put that piece of kit on your site, you'd be backing up your servers. That bit of hardware on site has the ability to actually virtualize your server up within a matter of seconds bring it back online, and not meaning we have to wait for TSG to turn up, to wipe the server, to then re-image it, put the data back on it, test it, da 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 We're talking a few days of downtime here. Um, we're going, basically, we're going to take that downtime down and completely minimize it. Um, we're going to hit start virtualization here. So we're going to go back in time. We're going to basically remove the threat. We're going to remove that problem by actually bringing the system back online in a previously known good state. The average time frame for us to take a server and get it booting on the data appliance is roughly around six seconds. So we're looking at the most minimal amount of downtime there to bring that server back into a stage where it's booting up and it's coming into a stage where we can start using it again. 